That was Joey Lee Randy. I'm sure we'll be seeing and hearing more of them here on Urban Flow. But now let's talk about music. We headed over to The Victoria, a place where they have open mic sessions on Wednesday nights. So let's have a look. <laughs> at the Victoria, which is really close to the station of Myland. And I'm with Ben here. How are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? I'm all right. So, Ben, can you tell us a little bit more about what the venue here at the Victoria is all about? Yeah, it's a, it's a live music venue. We have lots of bands, lots of performers, artists, poets. There's plenty of space downstairs to show gallery work and things like that. We've got a stage over there, and we're going to be doing the open mic tonight, so hopefully it'll be a, a cracking night. But, yeah, it's, it's a live music venue. It's a great venue, and um, lots of people come and perform and enjoy it. As I did, can be your central as you did. Oh yeah, how are you doing, Adam? I'm very well, thank you. Adam, by the way, just performed. This is minutes just after his performance, which was really good. Mr. Sexy Voice, I have to say, because yeah. tonight it was amazing. Where did that voice came from? Uh, well, I say um, I'm just blessed with it, really. Oh. Yeah, and I've been working it yeah. over the years. So what made you come over here at the Victoria tonight? Uh, well, uh, there's a good following, you know, on the grounds you know there's a lot of you know live music happening around around so we get to know each other and yeah he's one of the good places So I'm next to Daniel here at the Victoria. He just performed. It's an amazing piece. So tell me, what made you come here tonight? Well, um, I just moved to London about uh, six months ago. Started gigging around town and um, actually found uh, the Victoria to be a very homey and cozy place to perform. So I'm trying to get here every chance I get. So. Yeah, so how long have you been singing for? Um, about 20 years probably. Yeah, like I started when my dad sang and so I kind of started when I was a kid, kind of messing around. I was in bands like when I was a teenager and then, yeah, I switched to like solo singer songwriter stuff. That's for years. And what kind of music do you um, sing? Is there a lot of, what's the influence from? Uh, well, it's um, very diverse, but it's called Afrofusion, and um, Afrofusion is about you know African people sharing what they've got with everybody else. So the influences of you know Western, uh, Asian, you know influences everything. like around here? Uh, it's very cool. It's a good place, yeah. Very nice people, the very cool performers, very nice. Yeah. It's very friendly and uh, I like this openness. It's an open mic night and uh, everyone is very friendly and uh, I, I really enjoyed it, yeah. In London there are several places but this is the most chill out and um, you know there's place for everyone and normally the performers are always very good, always. Yeah, yeah. Thanks a lot, yeah. Thanks for having us here. That's um, Urban Flow. Yes, yeah, we love you, Urban Flow. Nice, thank you. Okay, thank you. Wednesday night, guys. If you fancy something different to do, the Victoria has definitely got something new to offer each week. But now, talking about fresh new talent, the British Colombian singer Stephanie tells us what's it like to perform in front of thousands of people at the O2 Arena. Hello, guys. I'm next to the beautiful and wonderful Steffi. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. How are you doing? I'm good. <laughs> I'm really glad to have you here. Well, thanks for having me. Turning up the bass, yeah. How old were you when you started singing? I officially recorded my first song when I was 12 in school. But um, I've been singing since I could remember, really. Like, for a really long time, because um, both my mum and dad were like musicians. Oh, really? So is that where you get the influence? Or? Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, it's all this, I was always been around. Now, I know you 
went, you were performing at mm -hmm. Neo Torino. I mean, that's one of the biggest venues in the world. Yeah. I mean, people like Beyonce, Lady Gaga have performed there. How was it? I took part in this competition called Live and Signed, mm -hmm. and I mean, all the um, participants were like um, basically from the whole UK. So it was really, really nice, like getting to meet so many talented people. And just this big day, you know, the build up for it and, you know, the experience of performing in front of so much people. It was really, really nice. It was a really good buzz. So, I mean... Uh, Were you nervous? I was. I was. I mean, yeah, I'll admit I was nervous. No, nervous. <laughs> of your tracks and I know you have a few ballads, you have a little bit of electro and a little bit of R&B and lately mm -hmm. I heard that you're singing in Spanish as well. Is that because of your Latin roots? Where are your parents from? My both my parents are from Colombia. And uh, you know I was born in London, I'm raised in London, yeah, but I was just brought up with the, you know, the Latin culture. Yeah. I really love, you know, having that side of me, you know, kind of the Spanish yeah. and, you know, the music. I love the Latin yeah. music as well. It's, so, it's, how would you describe your music then? So naive, I so No, like specific words to describe it. I mean, I do a bit of everything, like you said, you know, soul, you know, electro, I do a bit of soul, a bit of Latin stuff as well. I mean, I've performed at a few like Latin events in the UK as well, just to help the community in that. Yeah. I was gonna actually ask you about that because yeah. I know you've done uh, you were at La Fiesta, which it was um, it was in Tottenham, and it was about. It was helping the um, what happened with the Tottenham riots yeah. for a good cause. You were performing mm -hmm. there, and you were also performing in a lot of the uh, Latin carnivals, like the Carnival de Pueblo, which is one of the biggest carnival Latin carnivals in Europe. Mm -hmm. um, are you very in touch with the community? Would you say is that something that your heart is at? I'd say um, I always try to do my best, you know, helping out the community and uh, I've done a few good events, you know, that I felt, you know, good about myself after, mm -hmm. you know, I've collaborated in a few events, kind of raising funds for high tea, okay. uh, we raised, raised funds for um, a few other, like, um, third world countries that, um, mm -hmm. with UNICEF and other, like, really good charities and stuff okay. as well. I can feel the ocean. Helping out the community because uh, it's just a good thing to do, you know. Yeah. Makes you feel good about yourself. Lovely. Okay. So, what can we expect from Steffi this year? Well, um, recently I started working with uh, Kaliko Entertainment and we've started recording a few old material I've got that I haven't recorded. Okay. And we're also recording new, new, new material really. Um, thinking of getting more into the commercial side as well. Also, like my um, soul acoustic, you know, yeah. tracks that I've got from years ago and yeah. that needs kind of getting out there. Bringing out there. Yeah, yeah, sure. Kind of collaborating with different artists, with different yeah. musicians, kind of getting a few fusions out, you know, out there and stuff. You can follow me at Twitter, um, Twitter at Steph Santi. Okay. Yeah, for my name is Steph, uh, Stephanie Santiago. So, Stephanie Santiago. Yeah. Lovely name. <laughs> thank you. Love it's just it. a bit of a mouthful, but it's lovely. I love it. <laughs> That's beautiful. Well, I want to say thank you, Stephanie. Well, thank you for having me. Honestly, it's been a pleasure. Oh.